Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel. I'm Tori and this is A Celebrated Mess. We are in part two of making a journal together with the paper pad Star Seeker. And today we are making the signatures and we're going to bind them into the um, into the journal. Hopefully um, this video will be around about an hour. I'm going to keep it less than that, but not more than that. I will just keep an eye on the time. And if we have to have a part two, we will. I did go ahead and make one signature. I just kind of wanted you to have an idea of what we were doing. Um, and it's pretty, it's pretty chunky as it is. And the goal is to have five of them. And uh, just to, oh, we are having issues with the cover. Issues with the cover, friends. I'm going to have to fix it. It was just coming up a little bit here and um we'll have to figure out how to make that okay um so it doesn't come apart again <laughs> well you know in the crafting world sometimes things go wrong and you just have to roll with it especially when you're on camera so um yes that's not ideal um, but it is what it is. Let's just go with it and we'll see what we can do as we go on to fix it. But this is the cover. It's a three inch spine. So I'm hoping to have five signatures in here and it will be pretty chunky, but I believe there will be enough room for five. So I'm just going to put this aside All right, we've got some um, coffee dyed different kinds of papers here, notebook paper, uh, cardstock paper, some bird pages, which I probably won't include in this journal. Um, I did find that I have a really cool, whoops, I have a really cool uh, night sky book that is perfect. So I'm going to take some pages out of here and make some pockets, make some tags, just um, put some pages in there see how that goes and then um let's see let me set this aside and i'm gonna do my best to stay in frame and part four is supposed to be decorating the journal although a lot of the times i go through and i decorate the journal as i go so we'll just have to see how that goes but i really want to try and keep us on a schedule and um, that way it'll keep the videos down to, you know, a reasonable amount of time. But uh, let's see. I showed y'all some of these pre-made pages that I have that I want to include. So I'm going to take this one. And I have an envelope here I want to include. I'm going to take this solar system page. And then just... Um, I don't really count. I just take a good selection. Let's see. There's a cardstock page. I try to include just regular, a few regular pages that can be decorated. So um, I got a piece of notebook paper, tracing paper. A lot of this hard, uh, thicker cardstock, which is, I think, really cool. Um, I don't want to include that. This is graph paper, although you can't really tell the, the ink has bled so much. Come here. The ink has bled so much that you can't really tell. But this is, used to be graph paper. <laughs> Let's see if there's anything else special in here I want to include. Um, and we'll just put them together. Because I do want to make some, like, flaps and folds. Let's see. I have some of the specialty papers. And then I have... Um, Papers, um, pattern papers. So we'll grab one of these. Let's put that to the side. I'm going to grab that, put those to the side. So, 
and the journal, all we got to do is fold the stuff in half. You don't have to cut it because I designed the journal because that's, I wanted to be able to do just that. Use these eight and a half by 11 pages without cutting anything down. Then of course we'll have um, a little bit larger or a little bit smaller rather. Don't really put these together in any kind of rhyme or reason. You can, if you want them all to be the same, you can order your papers that way. But I like mine to be different. And um, so I purposely like go through and make sure that I don't have any, uh, you know, my signatures aren't gonna look the same. that there. Let's see. I think I'll fold this right over this page and then put this one as the front. I like to have my pattern papers always the beginning. So let's see. I have this cool handmade paper. A couple of regular sheets. Notebook. Tracing. Graph. heavier cardstock and then more regular paper. Okay, and I want to put, I'm gonna put this solar system page here in the middle. I have this acetate that I embossed. I'm just gonna stick it somewhere in here. And then I'm gonna figure out where I want my envelope. I made it into a flap. I want some, uh, oh, I'm gonna have to trim this. Uh, and I'm gonna have to trim down the acetate. I guess I did not do that. And my cutter is all covered up with paint stuff. <laughs> because in the signature I just previously made, I was doing a little art, art, artish journaling. So let me cut this down. It's by six, so it needs to be. Got to cut it down to eight and a half, and it needs to be by six. Let's make sure that fits. To make sure it fits in the jar cover. I don't mind it sticking out a little bit as long as it looks like it's gonna hang out there just fine. All right, good deal. Okay, let's move this out the way. And I want to do like maybe a flip up somewhere. Oh, and I have a coloring book that I got. It's a Cosmic Kawaii coloring book with a bunch of, um, you know, pages from galaxy things. So let's see. Oh my dollars. That's just adorable. So put this in here. I just think it's fun, the idea of, of having a coloring page that you can take out and color. And that's such a cool idea. Have some journaling, art journaling in your uh, in your journal. A little coloring action, a little stress reliever. Let's see. 
I made it like, I put it in like this last time. So I may put it in the opposite side. And there's only a couple of ways this could go unless I chop it down. I don't really want to chop it down. So what I think I'm going to do is just make it go on the opposite side this time. And I put um, paper in here to cover this up. So I can do that again. Mm. That's kind of the perfect width. Which, just for reference sake, is seven inches. So, I need to cut this down. I think four inches should be fine. Yep. And then I can always round it. So let me go ahead and tape this in here. And um, I could glue it down, but I think I'd rather tape it. Glue obviously gives you a little more lead time. Lead time? Play time. So that you can scoot it around and get it to where you want it to go. I'm just going to try and be careful. And scoot it in here and line it up before, with, before I press it down. Let's see if I can keep, keep this on camera. I did it so easily the first time, and of course, because I'm recording, it's uh, wanting to give me trouble. All right, so learn your lesson. <laughs> learn your lesson from me. Uh, I'm just going to put some glue on my, on my tape, and that will give me, well, extra stick, and it will also give me some playtime. so I can scooch it around. Just like that. And then I'm gonna fold my flap. And of course, the glue on my fingers had to come off on the envelope. Which, we can cover this with paper or ink. <laughs> It'll be okay. <laughs> yeah, it sure will be okay. Want to fold that down, come around here. I'm going to trim that extra little paper off. Like so. I think I'm going to ink this up. These Altenew inks. And it's ultraviolet. It comes with hydrangea, andromeda, and wisteria. They are super juicy. 
super juicy and messy and I keep getting them all over my hands. I love the colors though because it's a especially this ultraviolet. It uh fades to blue. Like you juice it up and it's purple, right? And then the more you use it, it like fades to a blue color, which I just think is so pretty. So it's, I thought it was really perfect for this um, galaxy-inspired journal. Hopefully I'm in frame. I hope you can see what I'm doing. before I put my hand in it. And this is going to line up with this page. I'll make sure I'll just got this in here okay. Putting it on this right here. Right here, here. So I'm just going to put glue on this flap. I don't want to ink this. Just trying to ink this edge here. Okay. So this is going to flap over here just like this. So I'm going to put glue all on my flap. This is art glitter glue, which I like it. It's just super expensive and I'm running out. <laughs> I'm going to have to take the plunge and buy a refill bottle. So now we have this cool little flap going on. Let's put something in here. Let's see. I think I have to trim this down with five and a half. I believe that's what I did for the last one. Because it's six by six. And I trimmed it. I think the five and a half, it might have been five. Guess we're gonna find out. Yeah, it's five. over like that. Now we need to decorate it. Let's see here. What do we got? I made a tag. I could turn this into a pocket. I like that idea. Let's turn it into a pocket. Glue it on three of signs. Smish it down. Not crooked. I mean, you can make it crooked if you want to. It can look like it's drunk. That is not the goal here. I have a ticket. Let's put a ticket in there. Let's see. I don't want to include something else. I'm just going to include this little folded over piece of paper for extra journaling. And then I want to put some stickers. See how, see how I'm just sitting here decorating the journal as I go? Sometimes you just got to do what you feel is right. Okay. 
be kind to yourself. Mm -hmm. I got a, um, it's a Happy Planner Stargazer sticker book. Well, isn't that just perfect? <laughs> of course. So you could even journal on there if you wanted to. All right, let's kind of get this back in the form of looking like a signature. <laughs> All right. I do want to sew. I'm going to sew some trim on here. I got this really pretty trim that matches the journal fabric scissors please it came in a roll of three And it's a lot. Where's the third one? Third one is lost. <laughs> it came in a roll of three. Aren't they perfect colors, though? Am I even in the camera? It's perfect colors. So, I'm going to move my signature. Take out this page. Make space on my desk for my sewing machine. It's going to be in the way. That's okay. Y'all get what I'm doing. I'm sewing. Let's see if I can line this up here. Okay. Here goes nothing. I'm not the world's greatest straight stitch sewer. Let's actually do something funky on here. Not sure what that's gonna do. why it bunches up on the ends but it's on there i kind of like it i just wish it would like i wish it would bunch up all together like make it bunchy the whole way maybe that's the way i'm feeding it and i'm supposed to feed it in there a certain way to make it bunchy I don't know. I'm not a sewer. I just like to add stitching to certain things because it makes it look cool. So we have some fabric. Okay. Um, let's do, I want to add another flap. Add a page. Um, so let's see. I think I'm gonna take a page from the book. And cut it. Let's see, this is six, eight and a half by six, eight and a half by 12. I'm going to cut that off, and then I want Okay. So this is eight and a half by six and a half, and I'm going to score it. I'm going to score it at half an inch. Oh, 
whoops. And then I'm gonna miter my corners. Because it gives it a neat finish. And then I'm just going to add it right here onto this page. Right. Mm -hmm. So I'm just going to add a piece of double sided tape. Down my flap. Take this and I don't I don't think I want to butt it up right to the edge because I don't know if that's gonna interfere with it sitting in the journal the rest of the pages. I don't mind that it sticks out like that. I actually like that. I like that it sticks out. Okay, I want to put some tabs on here. this in half. This is just, you know, numbers from a calendar. Cut out two blocks, folded them over. Just ink them up. I have my pretty lava lamp going. My little glittery lava lamp that makes me happy. And uh, my little twinkle lights. Well, they don't twinkle, but they're pretty. They're colorful. It just makes me, adds to the crafting happiness. I have to tell you guys, I've been really struggling too. I did not want to make this video today. And I just, but... I wanted to get this show on the road for you guys. So you're not just waiting for me to feel better. You know, for me to finish the project with you. I love to craft. I really do. But sometimes it just, it's, I don't know, too much. Sometimes it's too much. I'm gonna come in here and add a little something, something. A little star stamp. I'm gonna do it in this teal cave. I wish I could sit down with you and get to know you. Have coffee and learn about you. I do hate that this is a one-sided thing. I, mean, I could tell you all day about myself. But I would love to learn about you. Do you like dogs? Do you like cats? I'm a dog person. I have four dogs. One of them is 15. She's a lab mix. 
Her name is Rogue after the X-Man Rogue with the, the chick with the white streak in her hair because she's a blonde dog and she's got a white spot going down her head. And so my husband was like, your name is Rogue. <laughs> All of our dogs are named after X-Men. The second one, or the second oldest, and she's uh, 11. She's a Doberman Pinscher Rat Terrier, mini Doberman Rat Terrier mix. She's like 35 pounds, solid diva. I love her. She's my firstborn. The first dog we got after we got married. And I just love her to bits. I, I can't even, I cannot even describe to you the love that I have for this dog. Um, I'm, I can't have children. So, um, they are my children. Oh, let's add this. All right, so the third one is a black um, Labrador pit bull mix. Hun, she is the most loving baby. She's 10 years old, and she knows she won the lottery. She's the most loving dog I've ever come across, and I just adore her. Um, her name is Storm. Oh, the Rat Terrier uh, Doberman mix. Her name is Jubilee. Jubilee is not really known X-Man. She was in the comic books, I believe, but not in any of the movies. Um, and then there's Storm. And the last is a German Shepherd, Australian Shepherd mix. Her, She's black with a white cross on her chest, and her name is Raven. Raven is Mystique's human name. If you remember Mystique, she's the black, not black. She's the blue chick that can morph into anything, if you've ever seen these movies. If not, then you have no idea what I'm talking about, and that's okay. <laughs> yep. Just adding some washi tape decoration. Let's see. Oh, did I add one of my... Uh-oh. I'm, I'm flipping sequins everywhere. I'm flipping sequins. Get off my finger. Oh, beans. I forgot. Did I forget to add one of my specialty papers? No, that's right. I... I I did the acetate, but I think that was extra. One, two, three, four, five. Oh, I need to add one to the other signature. Let's just put this. I don't want to put it right next to the acetate. Let's put it here. Okay, I want to add a couple more tabs so we can do that with ripped paper. But I think I'm going to ink up with this blue color. See, I have thought I had a dauber that was blue, but I guess not. So let me grab one. Teal Cave. Are you a coffee drinker or a tea drinker? I'm both. Depending on what time of day it is. I love coffee in the morning. I drink it when I'm doing my quiet time. When I first wake up. 
and uh, then I like tea in the evening, herbal tea with honey and lemon and sometimes whiskey in there, especially if you're sick. That's good. Good for me. Oops, glue on there now. I prefer fall over spring and winter over summer. I love the spring, but there's something about the fall. I do love the spring. I really do. The smell of the flowers in the air when it rains and that ozone smell is like hanging about like in May. And after it rains and everything is like super green and super brown, you can smell the ozone thick in the air. I love that smell. And that only happens in the spring. So I do love that. But I like cold weather. I just like hanging way out there. Hold on just a second. What am I doing with this water? I don't want to spill it. We might have to trim this tab. Yeah, it's kind of way out there. I might trim it and then glue it. It's just a little too... I made it too big. Let me see how we're doing on time. Ooh, I got to hurry up. I just need to make the signatures, buy them in the book, and then, you know, go from there. I just have so much fun. Let's trim this off here. Like that. And then glue it. There we go. I want to do one more and then we'll move on. Let's see what we have over here in the way of papers. Ooh, here, let's do this. This is pretty. One of my little paper ribbons. We'll have to make some more of those when we go into actually decorating the journal. <laughs> in the designated decorating the journal video. My dogs are in here walking around, so if you hear some clicking and scraping, that's what that's what that is. All right. I kind of want to decorate the front of this front of this page, but we can do that later. Yeah, for now we're gonna call that done. Really don't want to. <laughs> I'm just gonna set this water up here. Whoops, sorry. Sorry about that, y'all. You just make sure that's uh I have my phone plugged up because it was dying. So I got a hold of the cord. All right, moving on. On up. I'm gonna use this sheet, this sheet, this sheet, and then we'll come back in here with some.
papers. It's a well. It's a well. Okay. Woo! Throwing things. Oh no, I'm throwing things. I'm throwing dies on the ground. Oh, for heaven's sake. That's what I get for having my desk too cluttered. Too cluttered. Sorry, you guys. Bear with me. I just don't want to lose any of them. like these heart dies because they're so they're so thorough <laughs> they're so thoroughly done from big to small okay let's put that there kind of rain this stuff in okay Folding our papers. So one thing I've been trying to do to overcome, because you know, like I, bipolar disorder is such a beast. So I don't want to blame everything on my, you know, my disorder. Oh, my, my life is miserable because of my disorder or, oh, please feel pity for me because I have bipolar, you know, no, no thanks. Like I, I, I desperately want to have a beautiful, active, fulfilling, joyful life. And I truly believe, you know, that's God's, that's God's best for me. That is God's will for me. Not that to be happy all the time because we go through trials and happiness is based on circumstances. 
But true joy is a deep, it's like a deep feeling that just carries you through darkness. It carries you through dark times. And I believe that it can be had, even though it seems so fleeting, I believe that it can be had in the midst of deep depression and pain. And so I'm trying to discover the truth of that. I do, I am, you know, I practice gratitude. People like, you're not thankful enough. You practice gratitude, I get that. Gratitude does change your life. Recognizing the things that you have and being grateful for them really does make a difference. But it doesn't change. I have not found it to change the deep-seated sadness that I feel some days that I just cannot cope with. And um, I'm not saying that because the Lord tells us to be to be thankful in all things, not for, but in. Be thankful in all circumstances. He also tells us, Paul teaches us, the secret to be content in all situations is by the strength of Jesus Christ. So I try very hard. I pray, oh, the prayers I pray just to get me out of bed, just to get me through the day, just to get me through an hour. That is what works and keeps me going. Constant communication with my father is what helps me because I can't do it on my own. I don't know how people who are who don't know Jesus do it. I, I just don't know how it's possible. Uh, let's see. What am I missing? Envelope. Let's see. I don't think I put an envelope. But... What am I doing? Let's see. We might wait and I'll just put the envelope. You know what? On this one, I think I'm going to put it in the very middle. I don't want to seal it though because I like you to be able to undo and take stuff in and out. So I don't want to seal it in there. Mm. Let's see. How do I want to flap this in here? I think I want it to flap in the middle. Hmm. Or I could turn it into a pocket. Seal it shut and slit the edge, slit this open and let it be a pocket. I could, let's see, how then would I put it in here? I could seal it shut and slit this open. I'm not sure what I want to do with that, so I'm going to wait and come back. I'm just going to stick it in there and uh, wait. Let's see. I don't think I got. Yes, I did. Did I get a specialty paper for this one?
put that in there backwards. I did not. sheet in there either on either of these yeah that one has a color sheet okay so that one can be set aside this needs a coloring sheet bunny oh my stars these are so adorable hushy baby I wish these pages were perforated, but they are not. Oh, I love that raccoon. I did order a kit. From Hero Arts that has like galaxy stamps and dies, but I don't think it's going to come in in time. It may by the time we're decorating the journal, I may have it, but I may not. character. I don't mind it sticking out like that. It's a little tall and it's a uh, it's just added character. A little distressed. Okay. So that's four. Oh, I've forgotten to add these papers. No, oh, I added that one. Let's see. Getting a little not sky booklet in here. Ah. Trying to find the middle of these signatures.
All right. Yeah, I'm thinking we're way over an hour. Well, not quite. I mean, almost to an hour. We're almost to an hour. It's gonna go over, folks, but it'll be okay. focus so I'm sorry if I'm too quiet okay and then we're going to put an envelope in here and we'll figure out what to do with that when we decorate the journal okay now we had a mishap with this cover because it's wanting to come up to come up and I'm not understanding that because the glue should be holding the glue should be holding it down but for some reason I used um, tape and it's not wanting to hold so I'm just going to try to add some glue in here try and make sure it stays down Give me a couple seconds, you guys. Hold on just a second. Okay. All right. We're back. Okay, so what we're going to do is punch holes in here. I'm going to measure out and punch five holes on each side and then put um, eyelets in. I just want to make sure I have... Oh, I can't, I can use gold. I was gonna use silver, but I think I'm gonna use the gold. Two, three, four, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Okay, I'm just going to, for Pete's sake, okay, I'm going to put all of these in here. And some of these are going to get a little thicker, which is fine because it'll end up being like this right here. So these have room to grow. It has room to grow. So I'm gonna go with five. Set those aside. Okay. And get me a pencil. 
Mm -hmm. And let's see, it's three inches. Half of that is one and a half. So that is the center. So one, two, three, four, five. Yeah, so one, two, three, four, five. Yep. I kind of, I don't know. Do I want them to have more room on the end? Good gravy. That's half an inch, half an inch, half an inch, half an inch, half an inch. I'm going with it, man. Okay, so I just measured the one and a half and then a half an inch, half an inch, and it's half an inch between the front and the back. And then, so let me get out my um, crop -a doll and we're gonna do the three sixteenths inch punch on each of these. And I want to make sure I can see it through the hole. So you see my marks there. I want to make sure I can line it up right through the hole. If you can see it in the light. Can we see it in the light? Can I get it? Is it going to focus? Either way, line it up and punch. And you want to make sure that all the cardboard or chipboard and stuff come out so you can see. Try to get it in the center. Come on, go through the hole. Part of me just wants to go through and, but I gotta make sure I can get them in the center. I don't want to jack them up. Like I did that when I did it too short. Okay, and now, so 
If you've never used one of these before, you see this long part right here, the male end. We're going to put this through our hole. And then the male end is going to go through the hole and you press it really hard together. And it splits it open on the back. That one's done perfect, but most of the time I cannot do them perfectly. Not going to be perfectly lined up either, unfortunately. And that'll be all right. Doesn't have to be perfect. You know what I think I'm going to do? I think I have some gold gilding paste. I think I'm going to go around the edges of this thing with gold gilding paste and on the book corners too because I don't think it matches since I'm not doing silver on the grommets. I do. I know I have gold um, flakes, but I, and I think I have some patina, maybe gold patina that'll work. trying to hurry this up you guys maybe you can fast forward it by double tapping the right side of the screen all right so now for the binding I'm gonna do I think I'm gonna do different colors Got one two three four, and I think five. Yeah, I like that idea. So let me find the end. Here we go. This color is Clipper. And these seam bindings are from um, my scrap cabin shop. She does fantastic seam bindings. Okay, so I measure a length of uh, three times from end to end. So one, two, three. Okay, let's grab a signature. Let me decide which order I want these to go in. I think I want it to go like that. Or actually, let's replace this one for this one. So this is going to be the last signature. And I have an envelope in one of these that just came, the clip just came off. 
Okay. So we'll find the middle. And uh, I thread this through the back because we're going to tie it in the middle. I think three is enough. I'm pretty sure I do three. I don't think it's five. And I know it's an odd number. There we go. Lining it up. Here in the center. Let's turn this like this. Well, I may do four. I don't want it to be so tight. See how that is though? Easy peasy. But I'm gonna do four. See, I want this in the middle. Have a light one. Probably should have put this on the end. <sighs> or I can do this one, this one in the middle. Eh. Let's see. This one, one, two, three. No, I don't like that. I'm gonna do it like that. Okay, so this one is next. This color is mauve. And I'm gonna go four, one, Two, three, four. that to be in the middle. That's not the middle. It's trying to be the middle. This is the middle. This color is grape wine. I love it. I'm not a big wine drinker myself, but if I drink wine, I like Pinot Noir. I like Merlot. I love Riesling. And like the sweeter wines, 
Give me a peach one, honey. One, two, three, four. Okay. This is relatively, I guess, the easiest part of it. Of course, you can always sew your signatures in. I used to solely do that. Sew my signatures in, and then I make many junk journals with elastic, and I was like, you know what? I really like the idea of being able to take stuff out and put stuff in. I wanted to do that for my bigger journals. So I was like, I really like the idea of tying it with, with seam binding. So I do. I don't want this to be the middle. This is next. What is this, red violet? It's a beautiful color. One, two, three. We're so close, you guys. So the next video, part three, is going to be make a master board and ephemera. Um, I want to make a master board specifically for this project and then make ephemera pockets, tags, you know, coin pouches, all the things that we like to make. Uh, I like to make little dangles out of them. Let's see. What is the center here? So that will be next. And then the last part will be decorating the whole thing together going through i may just um do it and fast forward it and then you guys can listen to music or your favorite podcast while you watch it because when i get in the zone i get in the zone and i probably won't remember to talk a lot misty blue I lucked out finding the seam binding for this project because I think she only makes one of each set and they go pretty quick. One, let's do that again. One, two, three, four. So it can't, I have her shop favorited on Etsy. So when she gets new stuff in, I get a notification. And this popped up and I'm like, oh, Star Seeker. It's perfect. I'm gonna call this journal Star Seeker Journal, Star Seeker Journal, by the way, the Star Seeker Journal. This is the signature that's fully decorated. Well, <laughs> I say fully decorated, but I'm probably gonna add some more stuff to it. Especially once we get the master board. 
done. Get that off of there. Make sure all my things are not coming off. And there we have it. Look, isn't that pretty? All the different seam bindings. I love the way that looks. I think that is gorgeous. It's really pretty. Man, this video is like an hour and a half. So we'll fill the pockets with more stuff, but and um, we'll do like a final flip through of everything as well. Um, see, there's that envelope that flips out. This is a pocket. But anyway, we have everything bound in here and we've started decorating a couple of the, uh, of the signatures already. So the next video is making a master board and ephemera. And um, I think that'll be fun. I love making master boards. They are a lot of fun. So um, that's it. Isn't it easy? Such an easy binding system and it's so beautiful just grommets and seam binding. And then you can um, add and take out of your pages and it's not, um, doesn't have to be permanent. You know, here's that envelope. Now if I can find the, the clip, here it is. Where'd it go? <laughs> I've lost it. I've lost it. I've lost it again. Anyway, I got to find this envelope so I can pin it back into the page. But I hope you guys enjoyed this video. The ranting and ramblings and the uh, somewhat of a tutorial, I guess, that I gave you on how to bind this journal with seam binding and, and eyelets. Oh, for Pete's sake. Anyway, it's in here somewhere. I shall find thee and attach thee. All right, like and subscribe. <laughs> like and subscribe my video. Leave me a comment. Let me know about your dog versus cat taste or your wine versus non-wine or if you like tea or coffee. And uh, just give me a random fact about yourself and let's get to know each other a little bit and um, pretend that we're having a conversation. Anyway, I hope you're having a fabulous day, and I will see you next time. Bye!